Hello, this is E.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's go make some chomper plushies, like the owl guy was telling us last time. Let's see, we also got a tutorial quest involving that. Let's see, we need to buy some steel scissors in the minigame there. Chomcraft is not of extraordinary value, so I'm not gonna... I'm probably not gonna do too much with that, but I at least want to show what it's worth. But yeah, it's very little of tangible value. So in this mini game, uh, each of the party members is on an assembly line here where they do some part of creating the chompers there. And once you create them, you can sell them for, well, chomp points or something or other like that. They're like the chompers from the first game, except less death. So let's see, Magnolia uses the scissors there, and she can only make one at a time, but if I get better scissors, she can make more. Tiz handles the stuffing, which determines the price of selling the chompers. Adia has the glue, which determines how long it takes to make one. And Yu has the brush, which sometimes can make rare chompers that sell for a lot more money. Once you've gotten the chomper, tap sell on the bottom screen there and sometimes you'll unlock some new music as well depending on how much you've sold in a single uh, bit there so we got those two songs so let's see so now that we have some chop points we can buy some upgrades in the lower left there on the bottom screen so yeah yeah you can buy better scissors or stuffing glue brushes there's also snacks that you can get as well that uh, provide a boost to everything but it's only for a limited amount of time every time you sell some amount of chompers or well you create some chompers i mean it'll fill up that snack time gauge in the lower right there though that's not really going to be important right now and let's see, what else do we got? So yeah, whenever you sell a bunch of chompers for however much CP, uh, you can unlock a song depending on how much you've sold in one go. In this case, we got 50 there, and there's some songs that will unlock depending on whether it's a fixed amount of CP that you sold or a range. Like one of them was for exactly 50 CP and the other one I think was for like 50 to 150 or something like that. And unfortunately they don't tell you how much you need in order to do that until you've beaten the game, I think. So yeah, for now it's essentially going to be at random as far as what we know, or at least what we're told in any case, but let's go buy some better stuffing there for Tiz. So lower left, click on the shopping cart, you got the stuffing icon there, and let's buy that. And now we can sell uh, chompers for a little more money. But in addition to the uh, startup cost of the upgrade that we got there, we still have to pay some amount to use it. It's a lot less than the initial price, but still, yeah, it's kind of strange going that way. But for now, let's uh, just go with that. And yeah, so with the rarity one, with the brushes that upgrade the rate there, you can get a lot more for selling them. And sometimes there's bonuses depending on which colors you've gotten or what the distribution of those colors is and all that sort of thing. I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to that. But I suppose if you want to unlock every single song, you could do that. I think you have to have heard the song in game in order to potentially unlock it. I'm not sure about that. But in any case, it's not that important. Let's go upgrade the stuffing there. So now we'll get 80 CP for selling one chomper. Get that, sell that, and I believe there's a song that unlocks for exactly 80 CP there. So now we've got that. Why don't we buy some upgrades and then we'll get out of here. So we got the scissors, that's for the tutorial. Maybe get a little glue, 
Better brush. Boom. We're good to go. Let's get out of here then. So yeah, the game kind of runs on its own there. Once you've bought the stuff there. So yeah, I guess you could just let your 3DS run if you really wanted to. And click on sell every now and then. But in any case, we got that taken care of. What do we got going on here now? A remedy that I'll probably never use. What do we got? Change your send move. Okay, so that's something that we do during battle. So I will uh, see what I can do with that. So we could do revise commands and change your send move coming up here. And we also got a... Uh, what is that? Whoop. There we go. But yeah, we got a little party chat going on here. Oh yeah, I guess about the Chompcraft stuff we were just doing there. No, not really. There is a point way later in the game where you can exchange CP for money, but by the time you get there, it won't matter. So I wouldn't worry about it. There are much more efficient ways of making money, like fighting a lot of consecutive battles or stealing equipment from enemies and selling that stuff. Uh, yeah... Yeah, I got it, you. you. You like the gravy. I don't think they want gravy on their chompers, though. But, uh, okay, so what do we got going on here? Oh, yeah, just some new bestiary entries I picked up recently. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that I want to buy here. Hopefully, I will have the money for all of it. Now, since I am going for 100% item completion, I want to buy at least one of, well, almost everything. So let's see, let's give a couple of those. I will put the shopping list in the video description there. Okay, then let's see. I want to buy five of these, actually, because we're going to be running into a lot of insect-type enemies, and those are going to be really strong against them, and they are some of the more annoying enemies that we encounter. Now, I'm just buying the one wizard's rod for now for the item collection, but... Uh, let's see, I think I already had a staff, but I sold it earlier. But yeah, with the Wizard's Rod, it only has eight, or no, six magic attack. But the magic knife has eight, and that'll be a lot better for my mages there. So let's go buy six of those right now. And then, let's see, with Iron Bows, you could wait a little while until we can steal items from enemies. And there are a couple enemies. I think it's the archers or whatever we met up with there before. Goblin archers, whatever they were. You could steal it from them. But we're going to be running into some undead enemies. And I want to have bows ready to go now for that. And they're not that expensive either. So we might as well do it. So let's see, with Narachi, why don't we just get one of them for now? Eventually, I do want to buy a bunch more of these to handle aquatic-type enemies. Same thing with the broadswords. I want to buy a whole bunch of those against demons, but I'm not going to be running into either of those for a while, so I'm just going to wait on that for now. Let's see, let's get a large shield for the item collection. Let's see, headgear, I don't think I'm going to be using that very much in the near future, but I'll buy one of each of those for the collection there. Let's see, for the armor, I definitely want to get some of that. Let's see, let's get two of these. They are light armor. And then I only want to buy one academy gown, even though both you and Magnolia could use it for their magic damage, because we're going to be finding something even better in the near future anyway. But I still want to have one of them. And let's see, with the ring mail, that's a bit stronger than the light armor that I picked up there. But some job classes aren't very good with body, or well, torso armor there. It's pretty heavy. So you'd actually get more defense out of the lighter armor than the heavy armor for them. And then we got silver glasses to protect against the blind status. But I'd rather just use... Uh, eye drops to cure that problem. And I think we find some silver glasses eventually anyway. Okay, so we're good on all that stuff. Why don't we... Well, actually, hold on. Let's finish our shopping here. There's also some spells that I could buy here. 
Although I don't think I'm going to be using it too much. Let's see. Well, open eyes I could use. So why don't we pick that one up? Let's see. Holy Knight. I don't think I ever use it, but I'll buy it anyway for the completion there. Uh, let's see. Nikolai could have cast that during the fight against Jan there. And when Jan defaults, if Holy Knight was cast on him, he'll regenerate like 900 HP or something ridiculous like that every time we attack him while he's defaulting there. And that can make life a lot more annoying. So that's also why I saved up my special moves to take out Nikolai as quickly as possible before he could cast that. That would have been a nightmare. Tornado and Soil are both really good being uh, wind and earth elemental spells respectively and we got some enemies that are weak to those let's see for the rest of the spells here we can't really use those right now but remember that for later viewers for now we'll just leave them there and well we can teleport back and forth whenever we want to buy them later if we wanted let's see what we got going on at the moon base hey, hey all right got another uh Little upgrade there at Parts Lab Gamma. Let's see how we're doing with that. Okay, so over here. Let's see, what do we got coming up next? Okay, Undead. I'm not extraordinarily concerned about that, but... Oh, wait, um... Let me see. Yeah, normally I'd only have, like, 21 uh, villagers here by this point, so I'm not going to use all of them. I don't want to get, like, too far ahead of anyone playing along here but let's put another one in the parts lab delta there that'll really help out got anything else coming up soon let's see well some on the right but uh yeah i think we'll be fine with that layout okay so we got all that now let's change the setup a bit let's see with the abilities i think i leave everything the same here just make sure you've got two spirit magic users and two, uh, what is that? Two uh, warfare users there. Okay, so with Tiz, actually, I do want to change something. I want to have Dungeon Master. That'll be useful coming up here in the next dungeon. It protects you from terrain damage or traps in some dungeons. You don't need Divining Rod, but I have nothing better to equip at the moment. So we'll just leave that there. I like how they have the five slots open from the beginning compared to the first game. Gives us a lot more variety there. Oh yeah, and by the way, with all these stat 20% up abilities, that's all we got in this game. We don't have 10, 20, 30% stat boost. No, no, you get one for each type, that's 20%, that's it. You're going to have to actually use some more creative abilities in this game, which I like that. Makes a lot of other abilities much more useful. Okay, so the abilities are good. Let's take a look at the equipment. Now, at this point, because, yeah, we've gotten quite a few more levels, I think we can afford to ditch the shields. Uh, where'd my knives go? Oh, there they are. So, yeah, I'm going to go triple magic knife on both of my wizards here. So, if I tried to equip... Let's say the rods there, like the wizard rod. Yeah, you see, it's not as powerful as the magic knives, even though, let's see. Yeah, I have a little better weapon proficiency with rods, but the magic knives are just that much better. So another thing you could do maybe is make a venture with spirit magic secondary, and they have, I think, S rank proficiency with knives and that would be even more powerful, but they don't have abilities that I really care about right now. So I'm going to stick with the bishop there. Let's see, with you, how about we give you the academy gown there? We'll stick with the mittens, though, otherwise. Then, let's see, with Adia there, let's stick with the iron knuckles and the moon glaive, specifically for damage against insect types. Unfortunately, you can't change equipment on the head or torso slots, with during battle there so whatever you've got there is going to stay there but during battle you can change equipment in the right and left hand slots depending on the situation there 
So that's pretty nice. Okay, then let's give you the ring mail for a bit extra defense there. But the light armor is just as good because we have much better proficiency with light armor than we do with heavy armor. But we're good enough on the heavy armor, so we might as well use that. And by the way, for a weapon proficiency, unlike the first game, magic attack also depends on on your weapon proficiency for how much of a boost you get out of it a lot of stats are like that uh not the critical stat but like things that boost your agility or whatever other stats we got your defense they have a much greater effect than they did in the first game there so it's not just your physical attack of the weapons that matters you might also notice that when i equipped multiple weapons here it actually reduced the attack power of the right hand weapon so if i remove that there now we get a bit more attack power out of that weapon but magic attack doesn't care about that so that's how they balance dual wielding with well i guess single wielding or one-handed wielding there but magic doesn't care about that physical attacks do but eventually i will equip more weapons anyway when i'm gonna run into enemies that i think that would be better against but yeah so in uh this game actually i suppose it could have worked in the first game too you could dual wield melee weapons there and even with the lower attack power you could still probably deal quite a bit of damage to enemies that have relatively low physical defense and even more so in this game there so sometimes i will dual or triple wield weapons like that so that i can get a little more damage out of them okay so with this one yeah i'm just gonna go with the harina Captain, Captain, I don't know how you pronounce that. But it's just as good as the ring mail, and I needed one of each of them for the item collection anyway, so I figured we might as well go with that. I think we're good, though I probably would like to rest up a little bit. Why don't we uh, sell some stuff? I actually didn't have to go to the item shop for this, but well, we're here now. Uh, let's see, I never use the gold hourglass. I don't know why you would want that. Yeah, it seems kind of strange there. I guess maybe if you had, like, stop immunity or something, that might be useful. But as it is now, nah. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to a lot of my older weapons. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Because we could throw them with weapon toss, and it'll give me some more weapons to potentially use if I need more than one weapon to throw at a time. Okay, so let's see. The rod we're not going to need. I don't think I ever used the wizard's rod, but I'll hold on to it for now. Same thing with the mace there. But otherwise, let's see. With daggers, yeah, we can get rid of that. I don't think we run into very many beast-type enemies in the near future. So we'll just leave that alone there. Let's see. Everything else I will hold on to there. Let's get rid of all, uh, well, most of my shields. I might use the large shield at some point. Leather gloves, we can pitch those. I'm going to hold on to the most recent pieces of headgear, though I don't think it's that extraordinarily important. I mean, look at my money. I've got plenty. We're never going to run out of that. Well, maybe not never, but it's unlikely. Okay, we can get rid of the one mono robe there, but I need the other one for Magnolia for now. Okay, let's get rid of the old Lamellar armor. Okay, I think we're good there. Let's go rest up at the end then. Yeah, even though it was nighttime when I came in here, it was daytime, I guess because of the cutscene or something. If only there were a way we could make it daytime or nighttime at will, but sadly we cannot yet. Oh, and it looks like we got more stuff going on at Fort Loon there. Oh, just some more items there. Those are some of the battle items that I got there. Those will be very useful throughout the game, although not so much right now. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. Yeah, why don't we save up? I suppose I could have teleported to Gathaladio for a slightly cheaper rest at the end there, but eh, I didn't think it was really that important. Let's see, I think I got a cutscene, or a tutorial thing last time 
leaving the town, but let me just double check here. Okay, yeah, we already cleared that. Okay, so let's see. So we got a little uh, side quest going on. You might have noticed the blue speech bubble with the exclamation point in it. So we'll head on over there and check that out. So let's see, we got that to the west there at the Oasis, but let's go around here and collect a little treasure on the overworld. Okay, we got the encounter rate, good. Let's see, right over here. There we go, a phoenix down. And we're probably gonna have some new enemies here. Okay, let's see, we got Venomous Snake. Guess what status ailment they can inflict on you? If you say sleep, I'm gonna hit you. No, no, it's poison they can inflict on us. They are weak to water there. And let's see, we also got the mummy in the middle there. They are undead. Okay, so let's see. With my party here, I think most of our speed stats are pretty comparable here. So how about we do this? Let's go with four frost... Well, maybe not four. Um... Let's see, there is, what is it? Okay, we don't have any magnifying glasses for examining new enemies here. So, let's see, why don't we have you take care of casting frost on the venomous snakes there? And then, let's see, with Idea there. Yeah, we could go Idea or Tiz, I don't think it really matters there. Let's go examine both of the new enemies there. And then, because the mummy is undead, I can use Phoenix Downs to kill them. But they only have a 70% chance of working there. Let me uh, double check that. Yeah, 70% chance of killing them. So I'm using two of the Phoenix Downs, just in case the first one fails. But we should be able to get that going there. Hopefully, Adia will act before you does so i can get that examine in there ow okay good good we got the examine kind of strange seeing the mummy out during the daytime usually undead enemies are exclusive to nighttime so you see there because we got the phoenix down in the first try we didn't use the second one there so that's pretty nice but yeah, I don't think I could have killed all those enemies with just one character, unfortunately. So we, we're kind of stuck with what we got. Let's see, we've already, yeah, fought the Desert Staves here. Let's see, those guys, yeah, I'm not extraordinarily worried about them. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so Iron Knuckles, I'm pretty sure Tiz can kill both of them by himself. Although I might want to examine another new enemy in the next battle but for now let's just go with that for now yeah we can take him out especially if we get a crit going there let's go for one more battle here okay so with this one let's see let's go well actually yeah in that first battle i probably could have killed all of them with one character, but I wouldn't have been able to examine them, too, so... Oh, well. But, uh, let's do two frosts, just like you did before. And then, let's go two phoenix downs, potentially, on the mummy there. We'll see how that works. Okay, those two guys, easy enough. Alright, very nice. And I could fight another battle there. Hmm... The problem is that you is a bit uh, low on HP, and he could probably die if I keep going here. And then I'd have to wait another round to do that. You know what? I'm going to call it quits. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not going to push my luck here today. Especially since things have been going so well so far. But, uh, oh, right. So, let's see. Did we get... Uh, what is it? We got Stand Ground there, I think it was for Tiz. That's a passive ability for the freelancers, prevents you from dying, just like in the demo there. 
At least I think that's what it was. I think it costs more in the demo. But I never really use it outside of the passive there. But, well, it's nice to have. Could be worse. Okay, so... Yeah, we got poison there. Oh, wait. We got our holy magic to take care of that. Normally, I would like to have my... Uh, freelancers do the healing because they have nothing better to do with their MP, but it's going to be a little while before we go into the next dungeon, and I'm going to have plenty of opportunities to rest up, so yeah, we'll just go with my bishops taking care of the healing there. Okay, so we're all healed up there. Oh yeah, we also got, oh what is it, level two holy magic there so we could use open eyes but uh, let's see yeah idea and tiz would not have that i'm not gonna have them dabble in that at all let's see we're almost done with nighttime or daytime here so i want to wait until we're nighttime and then i'll check out in chime here okay it should be nighttime now this there we go what about this place? This is Anshine, land of sand and time. These giant windmills harness power to... What about it? Stop right there. Well, at least the place doesn't have a sandstorm around it now. Glad it worked out for them. Uh-huh. Wonder what was with that sandstorm anyway. Eh, it's probably not important. The Skyhold is reportedly headed to attack Anshine as we speak. Whoa. The Prime Minister has given me strict orders not to allow any suspicious personages through the gates. Well, how are we suspicious? <laughs> Do we look suspicious? Just tell the Prime Minister that Tiz seeks an audience. Maybe they uh, don't like Magnolia's red eyes. Yeah, and idiot too. I thought uh, like she might have been like some demon or something with those red eyes or something. <laughs> what sort of fool do you take me for? You insolent fool! Huh? You'll have to do better than that, you dirty Imperial spies. Why, if I had a pig for every tiz and idiot who came here since just this morning, I'd be a rich man. You th th really? Huh. Who would want to impersonate us? Everyone's trying to kill us. There was even this guy who said he knew the Jackal. He had a weird sundial or something on his head. Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. I sent him away, of course. Just like I'm sending you. Now scram. Uh-oh. Nice. There's no getting past this guy. Let's come back another time. But I want to buy better equipment! Why, you... Oh, we'll be back! And you'll be sorry! What, you little! <laughs> if I had a bee for every time I heard those exact words. Yeah, I, I, I get it, buddy. <laughs> Let's just go, idiot. Uh -huh. But yeah, now it's nighttime. We can run into well other enemies at this point. So how about we go with the bows? Now, one thing about bows compared to other weapon types is that they use dexterity for determining their physical attack power rather than your strength. But for right now, that's still pretty good. So how about we go with that here? But like, let's say you were a charioteer, they have a lot more strength than dexterity. So the knuckles would probably be more powerful on them there. But we're gonna be running into some undead enemies and I don't wanna toss Phoenix Downs all day, so... Yeah, we'll just go with the iron bows for now. And by the way, if you are a bit short on money, you could sell, like, maybe some ethers or especially remedies. I don't think I ever use those. But, like, even ethers or turbo ethers sell pretty good there. But I am not going to be doing that right now. Okay, so we got all that. Let's see. Okay, so we've got, let's see. Yeah, side quest marker at the oasis to the west there so let's go check that out see what's going on here need water well it's a desert what did you expect what's ah, the noise they just keep coming go on after her 
What do you mean? Sir! What are you gonna do? Rob them? What's Again? he up to? The Jackal. Scourge of the Desert. And holder of the Thief Asterisk. Not you got it back! He and his band of rogues once took orders from Eternia, but went into hiding after falling to Idia and her friends. Ha ha! His abrasive attitude can frighten those who do not know him. But there is something more to this diamond in the rough. Oh, what do you mean? He's a thief! By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm here now. Not that way, you old bat! Huh? Hey, that's enough! What do you think you're doing? Trying to rob more people? I said watch out for the quicksand! What quicksand? I don't know! Hey, you got something to say, you sh shrew? Ha! <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, I know you. From before. We tried to murder each other, remember? Good times! Ha <laughs> ha! Look, if you can't tell, I'm freaking busy here. Oh. Don't just stand there looking stupid. Lend a hand already. Uh, we're not joining your band of thieves. A hand? Uh, okay. What are you doing? Dude? You're not gonna tell us, are you? It's finally quieting down. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is nighttime. Ugh, about time. I need a break. This is way harder than thieving. Oh. Whew. You know, I thought you were at it again. Bullying innocent folk in the desert, I mean. Um, uh, he isn't? But you're actually helping them. And making sure they reach the oasis safely. How hard can it possibly be? It's a puddle of water. There are so many people looking for water. I suppose that means the situation hasn't improved, huh? That's... It was better for a while. Water was cheap. And the little people didn't have to grovel or steal just to quench their thirst. Oh, well... Good. Now? I guess... But now, the underground river channels are running dry. Uh-oh. That's... We lost three oases to the sands just since the beginning of the year. We had more than one? Could it be something happened to the gem? What gem? The gem? Yeah, the Wellspring gem. If you're from the desert, you know about it. Ask anyone, even the kids. Well, none of us are from here. They'll tell you it's the source of all the water out here. Of course, oh. it's probably just a fairy tale, right? Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's just, uh, yeah, rumors. Hey, stop shoving and wait your turn. I wonder if Agnes would know anything about this Wellspring gem. Sorry, sir. Won't happen again. Maybe we should get the well, water crystal to help really out. You're really in charge here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, just call me head of desert security. A no good ruffian like myself. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Moving up in the world, huh? Well, that's one way of doing it. Someone rounded up all the street urchins and gave me and my crew some honest work to do. Hey! Hey! How many times will I have to tell you, stay out of the quicksand, you stupid brat? Why, you little! Sorry, boss. <laughs> Minion. Hello, boss. What a lovely story. Yeah, well, you should hear the other story about this guy. The Wellspring Gem. I remember learning about it in one of my folklore classes. Oh, okay, so I guess it is just a legend, huh? I bet there'll be tomes and other records about it back in El Campus. Oh, well, maybe. I'll look into it the next time we're there. Don't we have Rifa with us? Well, I guess oh, not. For Christ's sake, stop bawling and pull yourself together! So there we have it. The oases are drying up. Water is oh. running low, and the reason may lie with this wellspring gem. Oh. Well, isn't the water crystal supposed to make water, like, clean and plentiful or something? Well, I guess not, but...
Let's see what else we got going on here. What about the Prime Minister? What do you mean? Ah. Well, I suppose he's good with a knife, at least. Oh. Ha <laughs> But I guess he knows a lot of people around here. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Well, I guess after the first game, they uh, change their ways, I'm sure. What a what about the kids? Oh. Whoa. Well, why would he care? Oh. Yeah, I would think not. Seemed fine to me. Yeah, I don't think he'd go that far. Uh, yeah, good for you, you. Oh, I guess. Yeah, we'll just leave well enough alone. Hmm? Uh, what are you two doing? Are you, like, five years old? <laughs> I don't know. But in any case, let's see what else we got going on. Hey, hey all right, more special moves to, well, use. Okay, so we got some more special moves there. Let's keep working on that. Okay, so let's go five there. That ought to be good enough for now. And by the way, with the, like, the cutscene we had back at... And chime there. Let me know if there's cutscenes for other places that, uh, what is it, they don't, like, tell you about or anything. Usually, when there's a new area like that, they don't, uh, what is it, you just can't get in at all. It's, like, part of the background. You can't interact with it at all there. But, uh, okay, so we got, yeah, some more of these guys to kill. Let's see. Okay, so with this one... Hmm, I don't know that we could win this with just one character. So, how about we do this? Let's go lightning dart on the shield. We'll do that a couple times there. And then with the stabs... Oh, wait, uh, yeah, let's, uh, brave up a little bit there. Go two and two on the tramples for the stage. That should be good enough to get the job done, hopefully. Oh, okay, I guess we need to use all that. Well, still, we wouldn't have won that battle with one character. Not cheaply, anyway. Well, let's see if we can find some of those undead enemies around here. No, we can't, okay. So, but we do have a new enemy, Imperial Desert Axe. They have Scale Strip, I think that reduces your physical defense. I forget exactly, but I'm not extraordinarily worried about it. Okay, so Magnolia is pretty fast here. I'm just thinking if I can get Tiz in there. Tiz might be able to act before her. So, how about we do this? We'll just go... Yeah, four lightning spells there. And then we'll try to examine both of them if I can. And then let's get a couple tramples on the stab there. That should be good enough. That's... Oh, well. Yeah, remember the stabs have quite a bit more magic defense than the other enemies. But, and they're not weak to thunder. I think I'll call it a wrap here on that one. So, yeah, you would probably have a tricky time killing them with your magic there. So, let's see, over here, yeah, we got a little cave, but we can't interact with it at all right now. Uh, let's see, actually, though, hold on a sec. 
I want to keep it nighttime so I can find some more new enemies around here. So just hop in the event viewer, pop back out. We're back at the start here. And then if you keep going to the west, you can find a hidden treasure. Nice. But yeah, no cutscene for the cave there, I'm afraid. Okay, so with this one... Oh yeah, we're going to need more than one character to deal with these guys for now. Okay, so why don't we just go with one lightning dart this time around. And then, Adia, you can take care of the two staves there. And everyone else just default for now. Fast forward! Okay, what do we got now? Oh, man. Can't I find any new enemies? Let's see. This one. Yeah, we're not going to be doing anything special there either. Oh, well. Just a bit of bad luck at this point. Yeah, why don't we just leave it at that and let Tiz deal with the staves there. It's too bad I can't get these to last a bit longer. Um, yeah, let's go for one more battle. I'll take a few free hits. We're at full HP. But apparently, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Oh, that reduces your magic defense there. Okay, that scale strip ability I was telling you about. But thank you for not silencing anyone who would care. Okay, so with this one, I don't want to take a chance of these guys getting a turn. To uh, finish off some of my party members. So how about we just go with Lightning Dart. If I recall correctly, if two characters have the same priority on, like, Dart there, for example, I think the one with more speed will go first. Yep, there we go. Whoa. Surprised we couldn't kill that guy. But we got... More magic there. Very nice. The only thing I really want to get out of this is... Uh, what is it? Good measure, eventually. And it looks like... Uh, what is it? We took care of a tutorial quest there for revising some of my commands there. Okay, so we got change your scent move. And... Oh, well, we can change the profile comment. That would be easy enough. Let's see what we got there. Okay, so... Wait, where was that? I know it was in the tactics menu somewhere. Okay, we need to go tactics. Or no, friends. Yeah, tactics, friends, edit. And that should be good. Let's see if that works. Okay, so where are you? Friends. And then on the bottom screen, there's the edit button there. And you can put, well, whatever you want on there. I guess this... Well, it won't matter anymore on the network. But I suppose if someone else is actually playing this game... Uh, what is it? You could send this to them on Street Pass or something. Of course, it would be easier if I could actually type here. I don't know why this is suddenly so difficult for me. Okay, there we go. Okay, got that. Very nice. Oh, and we took quite a beating there. So why don't we have you heal us up there? And I don't really care about Tiz being silenced, but I have so many Echo Herbs, I might as well use it just to satisfy my OCD there. Okay, so we got that with the tutorial quest. Okay, so now it's just set, change your sense move coming up here. But, uh, why don't we go southeast for now? Um, okay, I am pretty close to daytime again, so... Event viewer, pop in and out there. Where are we, anyway? Oh, yeah, I've got a ways to go. I want to check out the Temple of Wind to the south here. After fighting a new enemy! Let's see, we got Wraiths there! They can curse you! To reduce all of your stats a little bit. And let's see. The mummies there. They can put you to sleep. Let's see. With the mummies. Yeah. We're all good there. 
Let's see. These guys, though, I think I could kill them with just one character. So, how about we do this? Let's go examine the Wraith. And then, let's see, with Trample... I don't think Trample would be enough, though. Even with the Iron Bow. So, while I'm examining, why don't we put half seeds to use? Even though it reduces the HP restoration of the Phoenix Down in half, it still has the same chance to kill undead enemies. But I'm not going to rely on this too heavily. Or at least I'd rather not. Why don't we just go with that? Ow. Uh, can I get a turn? Simon says give me a turn. Okay, there you go. And all these guys are weak to fire. So if I had my mages helping out there, that's what I would have done. But otherwise, I think we're okay here. Okay, so let's go quadruple heat on these guys. That'll be good enough to get the job done, I think. Hey, hey all right. Yeah, just keep fighting all those chain battles. Oh, yeah, I need to change my sense move, too. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't get the examine in there. Okay, so with these guys... Let's see. Okay, with you... How about we do this? Let's go... I need to change my sent move here. Send. And then we'll go... I don't know, quadruple heat or something. I think that'll do it. Seems a little off or something, but... Well, in any case, let's go examine the axe. And I want to get a trample in on a stave there. Let's see, that should be good enough to get the job done. Let's see what happens. There we go. Oh. I mean, I meant to do that. I thought he was using uh, lightning there, which is what I was supposed to do. But uh, I knew that would work. Anyway. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we'll have to examine the axe later. We're going to be walking back and forth around here for a long time. So I'm not worried about getting every single thing going right now. Okay, so why don't we just go with a whole bunch of tramples on the mummy there and oh okay we only got the one well make sure you've got the iron bow equipped because it's strong against undead enemies now i don't want to use my uh what is that phoenix downs anymore i could if i wanted to but i don't have that many of them uh-oh yeah i wasn't sure that tiz would be able to kill these guys with two attacks but uh well at least we're still alive here hopefully i'll be fast enough to get the job done okay so yeah she's gonna die before the end of the battle so what i want to do is use bravely, bravely second. second there we go okay so at this point yeah why don't we just use a phoenix well actually you know what hold on you can press the start or the select button i think yeah, you can press start or select to use Bravely Second, or you can just press it again to back out of it. Let's wait a moment. Okay, so now I know they're not going to be attacking anymore. Bravely Second! Now, let's use Bravely Second. Let's have you use a Phoenix Down on Magnolia, since I know they're not going to attack her again now. And that'll cost one SP there. We'll break all the limits. But that's okay. There you go. So that way she'll be able to partake in the experience in JP at the end of the battle there. So push my luck a little bit too much there, but that's okay. We're fine. No, no one uh, is permanently dead. Oh, okay. Got something going on there with Street Pass. I don't know. But uh, how are we looking there? That should take care of the tutorial. Very nice. All we got is the teleport stone, but we need to find a dungeon 
to do that, so we'll have to wait a little bit on that one. Okay, so where are we on the map here? Okay, if we go further down here, we got the Temple of Wind that we can actually access here. So yeah, just like the demo, they did a bit of redecorating around here, not a whole dungeon to go through. What's with the ominous music, though? Oh, okay, I guess they expected us to talk to her first. Hey, how's it going? Halt, Traveler. I cannot allow you entrance to the Altar of Wind. Why not? I'm Eugenie Olja, of the Crystal Guard. Yeah, we're kind of on the payroll here. I am afraid I have strict orders to allow none save Pope Agnes herself to pass. Oh, well couldn't we just give her a call? I'm Idia Lee, Agnes's best friend. Doesn't uh, that count for something? Really? I'm afraid not. Please be on your way. Oh, okay, never mind then. Okay, this is Tiz, Agnes's boyfriend. That's enough, I think. <laughs> Let's be on our way. <laughs> I didn't think their relationship went that far. Yes. Rules are rules, after all. Yeah, why don't we just get out of here for now? We're leaving, Idia. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we got all that. Let's see, can we, like, rest up here? That might actually be nice if I could. I don't think so, though. No, nope, we can't. Okay. But yeah, that music does sound pretty ominous for some reason. I wouldn't worry about it. But, uh, okay, so... Wow, that healing sound effect is loud. I hope I'll have enough magic to make it back. But, uh, okay, we need to get back to... our campus there. Let's see. Although, there is a new enemy we could encounter around here. I wasn't planning on going for them right now but uh let me check it out here i know there's some enemies that you can encounter in the forest terrain and there's not a whole lot of it around here so sooner or later i would probably have to go out of my way to find them but let's see what we've got here okay so in the harina region okay so we're in the forest Let's see, nighttime would probably be the best time to find these guys. So, you know what? How about we uh, take a look down here? Let's just go down here, jack up the encounter rate, and see what we can find. Okay, there's the new enemies I was looking for, Drakes. Uh, during the daytime, you'd run into a group of three of them. But at night time, we get a larger group here. So let's see what we can do with these guys. Okay, so I'm just thinking if I want to risk you acting before I examine them. I think so. We can handle that. But yeah, these guys are really hard to find if you don't know where they are. So let's see. How's our speed look here? Okay, why don't we have Tiz try to get an examining on these guys they are weak to water which is why i'm using the frost spells on them and let's see yeah otherwise there is i don't think there's anything remarkable about these guys let's just see what happens okay there we go got that in there please don't kill me uh-oh that works although i am concerned about tiz right now uh, let's see. Well, I'll still go for another battle there, at the very least. Okay, so Magnolia could probably kill these guys. Let's see, do you have... No, you don't. Um, yeah, I was looking for the missile landing command for half seeds on these guys. Normally, I wouldn't want to use half seeds for more Phoenix Downs on these guys. Yeah, that is getting pretty close. And I'm concerned about Tiz, uh, his HP there. So... And let's go for Broke. Go with the Heat Spell there. Hopefully they won't kill Tiz, or if they do, I can revive him in the next battle.
Yeah, Adia will have a chance. Or we could get a Brave Attack. That would be nice. But, uh, nope, nope. Okay, I'm pretty sure Adia won't be able to kill these guys now. So, we'll need to heal up a bit. So, how about we heal up Tiz? But otherwise, let's just leave these guys alone for now. Ow. Please don't kill Tiz. Please don't kill Tiz. Thank you. Oh, barely got that one in on time. We might be able to kill them with just my physical attacks. So, but we'll need to spread them out a bit there. Otherwise, I could wait until you get back in the action. But I think we'll be fine otherwise. Okay, spread that out. That should be good. Oh, we might not be able to kill these guys. Ow. Can I kill one of them at least? Thank you. Well, we're pretty close, but uh, not close enough, apparently. Okay, so now I was thinking about maybe going Frost Dart, but yeah, these guys. Let's see, they don't, uh, what is it? Yeah, there's too many of them to frost dart all of them. So we'll just have to hope no one dies. Okay, good. Whew. All right, so got all that. Lots of healing to do. And we really, really need to get back to Harina. Or, well, not Harina. Uh, Al Campus there. How are we doing on the MP? Okay, yeah, we're going to need to uh, use our holy magic for this one. Or give holy magic to one of my freelancers so I don't use all of all of my mages MP there. And remember to get back onto your previous secondary job command after doing that. Yeah, I forget that a lot myself. And you know what? I would really rather not lose those bestiary entries. So why don't we just save and then we'll get back there. Or get back to our campus. Oh, right. I forgot to turn down the encounter rate. Uh, why don't we just run? Run! Okay, let's uh, try that one again there. If I can see where I'm going here at night. Let's see. All right, we made it back. Phew! And are we... Oh, okay. Uh, it might need to be daytime in order to do more stuff here, but, well, I, I want to rest up at the end anyway, so that'll take care of it. And then we'll, uh, I guess we gotta go to the, the spire or something? Let's see, what do we got? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it has to be daytime, because you got that little, uh, marker there now. But what else can we find about the well Wellspring gem at Al Campus? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Layer. This is the Chi Bailey. Signing off. Have a good day.